when you first come into the computer lab, log into your account, and then on the desktop, you're going to see two icons for World of Warcraft. Please use the bottom one. Double click, and it'll start Battle.net. And then you're going to log in with the information I gave you. Don't choose keep me logged in or else if you change computers, somebody will be logging into your account every time they use World of Warcraft. Now when you're creating your battle tag, we're just going to use CMS for Chimica Middle School. And then for this one, you can just say continue offline. That's okay. It's going to scan for games. And if yours doesn't do this, don't worry about it. <clears throat> but if it's scanning for games, let it scan. It's going to find World of Warcraft, and then you're going to close it. When you're here, you're ready to play. What it's going to do first, it's going to search for updates. If it finds an update and it downloads it, let it do it. Now, if it says game is running, that's good. That means the game is going to launch, and all you have to do at this point is wait. So you logged into Battle.net, but now you have to log in here again. Once you get to this point, we're going to play the trial. And then if you see characters here, those are the characters of the other class. Um, leave their characters alone. If you get into create new character, you might want to back out, click on back, because you have to make sure you're on Sisters of Elune RP. RP stands for role playing, and that's the server we're going to use. This is the education server. Now, that doesn't mean only schools and students are on there, but all the other schools that are doing WoW in school are on Sisters of Elune. So once you're on Sisters of Elune and Change Realm if you're not, you're going to create your new character. For this first um, play time, we're going to choose from the Alliance side. And you can have any gender. I will choose male. And pick your character. Let's say I'm going to start as a gnome. So I've chosen my race. <laughs> Over here you can see the classes that your race can play. Remember that Death Knight is only for accounts that have a level 55 or higher player. Since these are free, we can't do a Death Knight. But your, uh, your gnome can be a monk, a warlock, a mage, a priest, a rogue, or a warrior. I'm going to choose a mage. Then you go to Customize, and the first thing you get to do is pick what your monk's face is going to look like. And you can turn your monk around to see... Um, what the hair looks like on the front and the back. So pick your facial features. I mean skin color. Uh, then you're going to go to face and pick your facial features. Then you're going to go to hairstyle and for hairstyle you can turn and see if you want a uh, hairstyle that looks good on the back too. Now when you're playing your character you're going to see this view, the back view, most of the time. So pick something you're going to be happy with. Um, everybody who, who sees your character will see their face. Then you pick a hair color. And if you get to pick facial hair, then you do that. Um, otherwise, don't worry about facial hair. And then pick your name. Then you finish. If the name worked and nobody else has your name, you will see this screen where you can actually enter world and start your adventure. Please have your headphones um, on at this point because once you enter the world, you're going to want to hear the background story of your race. It's the same background story for all the races. Correction, what I meant to say is every race has the same background story, but each race has a different background story. 
So some of this stuff you won't have. So you don't have to worry about it. Now, it, it the game's going to help you out here. It's going to tell you um, to right-click on exclamation points to get your first quest. So, that guy right there is a uh, non-player character, or NPC, as they call them, as are these people. A person with a bag icon is one that you can buy stuff from. And of course, you have zero coin. Coppers are the least valuable. Then silvers. It takes a hundred coppers to make a silver, and a hundred silvers to make a gold. So you don't have any money even to buy food. You got to start earning your money. So that was nice to look at. This non-player character, do he doesn't do. Um, you can try and talk to him, but he doesn't say much. So you're going to find that some of the non-player characters don't say much. Others do. If they have a um, bubble, a t speech bubble, like this one, and you can talk to them and hear their story. Now, if they have blue over them, that's another player. Uh, and you might even find each other. You got my attention. So this guy says, once you've seen one trog, you've seen them all. That's all he says. Safe travels. And yes, you do have to read what these people say. So let's What's on your mind? go to this guy, and here we have, and it tells you, left click here to accept the quest. So read your quest, hold the line. It says, hey you there, you're a stout looking paladin, lend us a hand. It looks like today's big earthquake shook a bunch of those barbarous trogs out of the ground, and they're sure steamed about something. My men are doing what they can do to hold them off, but we could use a hand. Do your part. Head south of here and help me dig help dig me mountaineers out of trouble. We've got to hold the line. So your quest objective is to slay rockjaw invaders, and you will receive a cool set of chain mail, uh, which are level two, six armor, worth five coppers if you sell it, but what's more important, it's a lot better than what you've got. You've got a three armor cloth uh, pants, which you need high armor because you're a paladin, which means you tank. You fight and take damage, so you need male armor. Keep your feet on the ground. So you accept the quest, and it says open the map by pressing M, and you can see exactly where you need to go. Turn and face that direction, and then you go there. And it tells you what mouse buttons to use. W moves you forward. A turns you, D turns you the other way, S and W forward, space bar to jump, I don't have a target. and one, I need two, a target. three, four, since I only have one power, it's a crusade strike, I can only do one. But as he said, he doesn't have a target. Hi. How are you? So let's do what it's asking me to do, and select a creature to fight it. There's a rock shot invader. So there, I just killed one. So one out of six done. Oh, and of course you want to loot it. So you um, right click to loot. That just gave me two coppers. Woo! I'm rich. Now let's go attack another one. Hey, no, sit down. So you just run around doing what it tells you to do. And even though this game is rated T for teen, um, there isn't really blood. So it's... Whoa, he's got a pretty good strike there. It's um, quite safe for us to play this in class and, and live our story this way. So I've got six coppers. Hey, almost have enough to buy something. Now, um, yellow creatures are cool because they don't attack me. See, I could run up and around this one, and it won't attack me. Now, if I was to see a creature with red on it, um, stay clear of those because they will attack you if you get too close. And um, if they're higher level than you, they will kill you. There. 
So that's basically it. Your job here is to um, live your adventure by getting quests and helping the Alliance uh, prosper any way you can. That is your hero. This, this lowly level one hero is making his way through the world doing what he can. And that is your story. And that's what we're going to study here. Um, so enjoy the adventure.